Hey, welcome to Allison's Topic of the Day. Today I've got a middle grade novel for girls called Kate in Between by Claire Swinarski. Uh, it starts out when Kate's in fifth grade and she's with her best friend Hattie. They've been best friends since first grade. They do everything together and Kate makes a promise that no matter what she'll always be Hattie's best friend. The novel then jumps to seventh grade and she's no longer Hattie's best friend. She's fallen in with the in crowd. Uh, Taylor's in charge of the in crowd and Taylor's like your um, mean girl. Um, so it's very stressful for Kate to be in the in crowd. She never knows what Taylor's going to want her to do. So she's always walking on eggshells. She could uh, become pals with the basketball team because she's on it and they all want her to be part of, of their um, group. She could go back to being Hattie's best friend. Hattie misses her terribly. And um, she still remembers how, you know, how much gr fun they had together. Or she could continue this very stressful um, position in the in crowd. When a situation occurs where the in group bullies another kid um, to a point where it becomes physically dangerous and this other kid could die. Fortunately, Kate remembers having read a magazine article how to save someone from the situation that this kid finds herself in. And um, she rescues the girl and uh, saves the day. And Taylor, the mean girl um, leader, happens to video the rescue she sends it to uh, television and Kate becomes the, the feel-good story, Kate the Great. However, um, when it comes out that Kate was part of the bullies, um, the people that lauded her on social media and television return on her very quickly. She doesn't know what to do. If you can remember how terrible it was in seventh grade, um, this book, well, you know, it tells the truth. It was not easy back being at that age. Um, you're dealing with so much. You're dealing with your emotions. You're dealing with all the dynamics with the different groups and the teachers and your parents. And this book is very truthful. So I recommend it for kids who are in and around this age. It's very truthful. It's honest. It's funny. It's sad. Um, nobody's all good or all bad so it's very well written and it's a real picture of life at that age thanks for listening see you soon